everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys my everyday makeup for summer 2018. So basically this is just kind of an idea, I guess, an idea example of how I've been doing just my everyday makeup for this summer. If you guys are interested in seeing what products I've been using most lately, then keep on watching. So before we get into the makeup portion, I did already prep my face with a couple products. The first one I used was my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is one of my favorite moisturizers at the moment. It's just so refreshing, so lightweight, and it really gets the job done. And the other product I've been using is my Mario Badescu Spray. I like the green tea aloe one. It's my favorite out of all three. And you can see it has makeup stains all over it because I've been using it so often. And for primer, I know I said in a couple of videos in the past that I really didn't care for this primer. Um, I have been using my Benefit Professional quite a bit recently. I think I'm just trying to use it up, to be honest. I don't really know what my deal is. But I'm just going to quick go ahead and prime my face with that today. For foundation, recently I have been loving the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I've been using the one in the shade Ivory Nude, which I think is like the second lightest shade. Um, well, it's like the lightest shade just with neutral undertones. I love this stuff. I feel like it goes on super, super natural. It doesn't feel heavy at all, and it gives your skin just a beautiful, beautiful finish. And I know a couple of my friends love this one right now, too. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some on my hand and then I'm going to channel my inner Laura Lee with my Y6 and we're going to go ahead and get me foundationed. I love the coverage of this foundation. It's just a beautiful medium to full coverage. I definitely have been getting a ton of use out of this one lately. It is $42. I think it's completely worth the money though. I know it's pretty much around standard price for higher end foundations, but I love it. It doesn't dry or look cakey at all on the skin, but it does offer you a really good coverage. For concealer today, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Beige, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with one of my beauty blenders. This is my all-time holy grail concealer. This is still my first bottle, and I've had this for quite a while now. I've been using it every day for a solid couple months, I would say, and it's still not out. You know, I don't really know if I need concealer because I'm already as pale as a ghost anyway, so like, what is there to really highlight on my face? But it makes a nice little glow go on. To set the concealer on my face and just to kind of keep it from creasing, I am going to go ahead and use my Too Faced Born This Way Loose Powder. I don't know if it's translucent or not. It has kind of like a beigey tone to it, but this stuff is my favorite loose powder at the moment. This one again makes your skin kind of dry, not necessarily dry, it kind of makes it finish a little bit silky. So it looks really beautiful when you apply it to the skin over your foundation and concealer. Next up we're doing my brows and I go through a lot of brow products. So the first one in my brow routine is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. This is in shade 3 which is like a nice dark brown. Dark brown. Kind of like medium brown. Um, I also use my Anastasia Brow Wiz Brow Pencil in soft brown. They're two slightly different colors, so I like to use the Anastasia over the Benefit, and it looks really, really nice. And then I also have my Benefit Highbrow to kind of carve out anything, and of course my Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setting Gel, which I don't use every single day, but I figured I would just kind of mention it in the video today because it's my everyday makeup look. So we're going to start out with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and I'm going to definitely need to bring my mirror closer a bit. So I'm basically just laying the first color on my brows with my Goof Proof. And then I pretty much go and add the details with my Anastasia. That's usually how I do it. So I'm just kind of using the spoolie to really kind of smooth that in, blend that into my brows. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Anastasia and we are going to go ahead and add some detail over this color. So the colors aren't too different. They're actually quite similar, but I like the more precise lines that the Anastasia offers. 
I actually do want to go ahead and try the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I think that would be a lovely addition to my brow products. I'm trying to see if it's looking fine. Yeah, see, it adds a little bit of kind of depth and dimension to the brow, having the two slightly different shades. The Anastasia pencil is actually a little bit waxier, so it does show up a little bit different texture-wise when you apply it, so that's kind of why I like to have the two different shades. It doesn't give you a huge gradient, but it does kind of gradient it out a little bit, so you don't have just one solid color brow. And I am just going to quick take my highbrow pencil and, of course, my mini brow beauty blender, and I'm going to just go ahead and carve out this top bit. Next part of my routine is my eyeshadow. I usually do it in the same order every single day. It's just kind of my thing. I like having my set order. And for eyeshadow this summer, I have really been getting a lot of use out of my Kylie Cosmetics Royal Peach Palette. I know this one's kind of an unpopular palette right now in the beauty world. I know it's kind of like the hype about it is over. I know that a lot of people actually didn't care for this palette, but I find that the formula is super, super easy to blend, super easy to work with, and I have very much enjoyed using these shades. I just think they're just so beautiful. Like, I can't get enough of them. I love these, like, warmer tones, and then I also love this green color. This is perfect for on the lid, and I love using that blue in the lower lash line. It's just gorgeous. So... I'm going to show you guys what look I usually go to for this palette. First step, I'm taking one of my Morphe blending brushes and tapping into this nice kind of beigey nude peach color. And I'm just going to apply that all over my crease as kind of my transition shade. Next, I'm taking my Morphe M573 and I'm dipping into this slightly darker peach shade. It's still a peach, but not as light, and it has more kind of pink and red in it. So I'm just going to kind of use this more detailed blending brush and really pack that in deep to my crease, a little bit lower than the last peach. I love doing warm, smoky eyes. They're my favorite looks to do, so I usually gravitate towards looks like that. So if I do a lot of warm, smoky eyes in my video, if it's not like a tutorial, that's probably why, because I love smoky eyes and I love doing them with warmer, fun colors. Next, I'm going to be taking that same brush and I'm going to be dipping into this dark, dark peach over here. Oh, this bottom one right here, that's a shimmer. We want the matte one. And that's just going to go on my very outer corner of my eyes. Just to really deepen up the crease back there. Next, I am taking my Luxie 245 brush. This actually came in my Ipsy bag for June 2018. Yeah, this was actually one of the only items that I was super, super excited about. Um, and I'm just prepping that with some Mario Badescu. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into this green shimmer shade right here. And we're just going to go ahead and oops, get it on the brush first and then apply it onto the lid. On the front portion of our eye, we're going to bring that shimmer right up to where we had the shadow. And then as we move back, we're going to kind of bring it down a little bit so it kind of tapers into some of that smoky that we created. So it's going to look something like that. Not quite perfect yet because we're going to go ahead and jump back in with some of the shades we used to blend the smoky eye. And we're going to go ahead and blend it some more. And since it's on the outer part of our eye, we can really dip into some of those darker peach tones and really get that crease going. Now I'm just going to quick wipe away the little bit of fall using my big fluffy Tarte Mermaid brush. This is actually my favorite brush ever. I think it's just A, super cute, and B, it's just so fluffy. Okay, so this is basically the top of our lids done. So we have the nice peach smoky eye with the nice green on the lid. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and take one of my Tarte Mermaid blending brushes. I know they're not super easily available anymore because they are kind of going out but it's one of my favorites. So if you have just a nice kind of flat blending brush, that will be perfect. And I'm just dipping in to the royal blue shade, and we're gonna go ahead and buff that along the lower lash line. Okay, 
So once we have a good layer started, we're gonna go ahead and go in with a slightly more packable brush. This is just a nice, simple, flat, square elf brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and again, dip into that and we're gonna go over it so it creates almost a nice, light blue, smoky eye. For liner today, I just went super, super simple. I took my NYX Faux Whites Eyeliner in the shade Seashell, which is, if you guys can kind of see that, it's just a nice pastel pink. I love this color. I love this entire line, honestly. I want to pick up every single one of these liners. So NYX, if you see this and you want to go ahead and be a little generous, go ahead and send me a box of these because I'm obsessed with these. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to mascara. My current favorite right now is the Lancome Monsieur Big. This is a beautiful, beautiful liner, liner, mascara. It's very volumizing and as much as people are going to come at me for this, I honestly love this a little bit more than Better Than Sex. I think it just is super volumizing, super, super lengthening. Honestly, what more could you want in a mascara? So now that we have the eyes and lashes completed, I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of my face look not so pasty because I'm a ghost and I don't want to be a ghost. So some of the products I've been loving recently are actually my NYX contour kit. This is super, super affordable. I think it's like 12 bucks or something, something ridiculous like that. It is so, so good. I actually prefer this over some of the higher end products. And I'm also going over that with my MAC and Patrick Star Bronzer. I think this is... A beautiful beautiful bronzer this is the summer star collection so this is from his summer collection so if you're watching this currently it is still out there you guys can go ahead and pick that up but I love this bronzer okay, so to apply my bronzer and contour today I'm gonna go ahead and use my storybook cosmetics rose brush I love these brushes I think they are super 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 cute Oh, I completely forgot to show you what shade I'm dipping into. I'm dipping into this first warmer shade right here. And I'm just kind of going over my contour spots with that. And then I'm bringing it down onto the jawbone and also up onto the forehead a bit. So not too crazy with the contour, just enough to kind of give me a little bit of color and make sure I don't look completely flat faced and pale. To kind of buff this contour out because it is kind of a harsh line, again, I'm using my Tarte Fluffy Mermaid brush. We're just going to kind of give it a nice little sweep. I did realize that that contour is a little bit warm, so instead of using my Patrick Star Bronzer, I'm actually going to use a different MAC bronzer because I've been loving my MAC products lately and I want to get some more use out of them. I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC Mirage Noir bronzer. This is just the matte one. I like it. It's a little bit less warm toned, so it will kind of help minimize the amount of orange in this contour shade. On camera, it's picking it up super, super orange, and that does not look that cute. Look like an Oompa Loompa. For blush today, I'm going in with another MAC product. Just like I said, I'm just trying to get some use out of them because I have a lot and I just don't really use them all that often. So this is the Mineralized Blush in the shade Sweet Enough, which is just a nice kind of muted dusty rose, and it is beautiful. I actually purchased this as an alternative to my current fave, the NARS Dulce Vita, which you guys have probably heard me talk about a few times. So I'm just going to take my Sonia Kashuk brush. This one was a clearance brush at Target, so if any of you guys want some good makeup brushes, I actually really enjoy these so far. I got a set of like five face brushes for 10 bucks at Target. I'm just going to go ahead and buff this over my bronzer a little bit, a little bit higher up, just so you can still see the bronze, but you also get a nice hint of pink warm. Okay, we are on to highlighter, and I have a lot of highlighters to choose from, and I told myself that I would just choose one during the video because I couldn't quite decide which one I wanted to use before filming. And I'm at a point to choose a highlighter, and I still don't know which one I want. I think we're going to go ahead and reach for my Jeffree Star Skin Frost in the shade Ice Cold. It's a little stuck. It's just a nice kind of creamy white color. I think it's a really, really pretty highlight. And there's my highlight brush. I keep putting it with my eye brushes because it looks fluffy like an eye brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap into this. I've had this for so long, and like, girl, honestly... 
it's impossible to really even make a dent in it because it's so freaking humongous. I just want to kind of put a little disclaimer out there. I don't want people to kind of get mad at me for using limited edition products in my look. The reason I use limited edition products in a look like this is because I'm just kind of showing you guys how I've been doing my everyday makeup. And I do use a lot of limited edition products every day. Unless I'm doing like a review of it shortly after it comes out, I just know that people aren't going to have access to that product. And I don't want to kind of promote content that you can't really even recreate. If you guys are going to come and hate me for using limited edition products in my everyday makeup video, I mean, go ahead, comments are open. But that is why, because this is a video showing how I do my everyday makeup, not how to do a certain makeup look. I mentioned the whole limited edition products fiasco today just because my lipstick choice for the look is actually a limited edition product. It is the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basque collaboration, and this is one of the cream lipsticks in the shade Abstract. I love this collection. I have a few of the lipsticks. And I just think they're super, super creamy. So this is just a nice neutral brown. I think it's good to have a natural neutral lip with such a crazy eye look. So let's go ahead and pucker up Buttercup. So now that the lipstick is on, we're completely done with the look. I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a quick spritz of my MAC Fix Plus and another squirt of the Mario Badescu. So that brings us to the end of the video today. If you did like it, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can come on back and see more. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye, guys.